Tayo po ay manalangin muna. Let us all pray. Brother and sister, tayo po ay manalangin. Almighty God in heaven, Lord, we are so grateful for this wonderful day that you've given us. Truly, God, as we worship you in a, in, in our house, oh Lord God, alam namin na ikaw po ay lagi namin kasama. Lord, continue to be with us as we worship you. Accept each one of us, Lord, as we ask for the forgiveness of our sins. Forgive us, O oh Lord God, for the sins that we have done, for the past days of our life, that you may be able, Lord, to accept each one of us today as we worship you. Father, we know with your mighty power, O oh Lord God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, you are listening to us, you are watching us, Lord God, because alam namin, Panginoon, na ikaw, ang lagi namin kasama. Tanggapin mo ang Panginoon ang bawat isa sa amin. Kami po, Panginoon, ay patuloy po umihingi po ng papakumbaba, umihingi ng iyong awa, Lord God. Have mercy, O Lord, to each one of us. Have mercy on this world, O Lord God. We ask, O God, for the healing of this world. We ask, O God, for the healing of each one of us, O Lord. Thank you so much, God, for this day. Lord God, guide us by thy spirit as we study thy word. Help us to understand, O Lord God, how are we going to overcome our worry on this time of crisis that we are facing together, that the world are facing together, O Lord God. Teach us, O Lord, by thy word that we might be able to understand, O Lord God, upang maunawaan namin, Panginoon, ang mga bagay-bagay at malagpasan po namin, maipsan po ang aming mga pag-alala. Salamat po, O Diyos, sa umagang ito. This our prayer, in Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning po, mga kapatid. Tayo po ay, uh, tayo po ngayon ay uh, mag-aral po ng salita ng Diyos. In our worship today, our lesson for today is how to overcome worry. So, kung titignan po natin, ano po ang text natin for this morning? Our text will be taken from Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. I'm holding the English Bible but I'm going to read the Tagalog here. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 po. Philippos, huwag kayong mabalisa tungkol sa anumang bagay. Sa halip, hingin ninyo sa Diyos ang lahat ng inyong kailangan sa pamamagitan ng panalangin may pasasalamat. Sa wikang English po, sabi niya, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. So, yun po ang ating text to po. No? How to overcome worry as we face this crisis today? So many people around the world is worrying, nervous, nervous po. Pero hindi lamang po sa mga crisis na ganito nangyayari ang worry. In every aspect of our life, it happens. And we cannot stop it. Sometimes we cannot help ourselves or control ourselves not to worry. In this short lesson po, ngayon sa umagang ito po, we will learn paano natin ma-overcome po ang mga bagay na ito. Our question for this morning, Am I worried? Am I nervous? Are you nervous? Paano ko malalagpasan ang mga bagay na ito? Or how can I overcome this? So we have the answer, and the answer can be found only in the Word of God, in the Bible. Nandito po ang kasagutan, mga kapatid. Ngayon po, tinan po natin, sa ating po mag-aaral po, ang sabahan natin po ngayon dito po. So dito po, what are the effects of worry in our lives? Worrying can affect our health. Worrying can disrupt our spiritual productivity. Worrying can diminish God's peace. Worrying affects the way we treat others. Worrying is like a rocking chair. Yung rocking chair po, gumagalaw ka, pero hindi ka naman umaalis. It will give you something to do, but it won't get you anywhere. So, yun po ang worry. Rocking chair. Natin. So, kung titinan po natin po sa ating pong, uh, 
pag-aaral po ngayon sa umagang ito po. Dito po, ano ba sinabi ng Panginoon? Ang sabi niya kanina sa atin, huwag kayong mabalisa. Or do not be anxious. O sabi natin, do not worry. Yung kinatawag. Pero yung verse 7 po, may kaduktong po sa verse 7. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and mind through Jesus Christ. So yung kapayapaan po ng Panginoon, ang magbabantay po ng ating mga puso, isip para po hindi tayo mag-alala. Tinatawag, sabi nga po, ang kapayapaan ng Diyos, na kuminsan hindi natin maunawaan ito, pero siya po ang mag-iingat sa ating puso at isip. Kung titignan po natin sa ating pong, uh, pinapag-aralan ngayon. Pero ngayon po, mga panahon ito, sa palagay, panahon, itong oras na ito po, at this moment po, so ano po ang ating maalala? Alam niyo po ba yung sinabi po ni Pedro? Peter told us in chapter, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 and 7. I'm going to read in Tagalog. Kaya nga, pasakop kayo sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos at dadakilain niya kayo pagdating ng takdang panahon. Ipagkatiwala ninyo sa Kanya ang inyong mga alalahanin sa buhay sapagkat siya ay nagmamalasakit sa inyo. So kung titignan po natin, Peter to told us, Peter told us na God is nagmamalasakit po sa atin. He cares for you. He cares for each one of us in this world. He cares the whole world. Pero ang sinabi po niya, let us have faith with Him. Or, ipagkatiwala na niya. David also encouraged us in Psalm chapter 55 verse 22. David told us, cast your burden on the Lord and He shall sustain you. So ito po yung lahat po daw po ng alalahanin natin sa mundong ito, ibigay natin sa Panginoon. Pero paano nga po, kuminsan, tayo ay nag-aalala, sometimes we worry a lot, sometimes we are distracted by the, kung ano po ang pangyayari sa mundong ito po, na tinatawag natin. So, let us learn more how to overcome this worry. Four reasons why we should not worry. Apat pong dahilan bakit hindi tayo dapat mangamba. Number one po, I'm going to read in Matthew chapter 6 verse 25. Open your Bible with me. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 po. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 or Matthew chapter 6 verse 25. Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? So yung question po ng ating Panginoon, sabi po niya, is not life, sabi po niya doon, more than food and the body more than clothing? So ano po ba ang mas mahalaga? yung buhay po natin o yung pagkain o yung damit so sa panahon natin sabi natin na oh yes both are mahalaga both are needed but God is telling us Jesus the Lord of Lord is telling you today is telling us today do not worry so for the reading so, so titin natin na uh, binabanggit no so Sabi niya po, huwag kayong mag-alala. So dito po, sa Awit chapter 46 verse 10 po, Psalm chapter 46 verse 10, ang sabi po doon, Be still and know that I am God. So sabi niya doon niya po, no, huwag daw natin kalimutan. Mag huwag tayong maikikilos. Sabi niya, matatag lang po tayo. Sabi niya, alamin natin na ako ang Diyos. But who is God? God is the Almighty One who created the whole world, who created us. So what everything happened in this world, God knows it. Alam po ng Panginoon. Kaya sabi niya, let us not forget. God is watching us right now. He knows what is going on around the world. He knows what kind of worry that we have in our life. He knows you. He knows us. He knows our problem. That's why let us focus on God not on our problem. In Romans chapter 8, verse 20, 
Romans chapter 8 verse 28 Romans chapter 8 verse 28 And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God Tingnan niyo po So ano po daw lahat ng mga bagay po magiging ayos po sa mga nagmamahal sa Diyos So that is important We need to love the Lord ito lamang po yung force na kailangan po natin ngayon the force that we need around the world today is love love God love God with all your heart with all your mind with all your strength and with all your soul sabi niya po to those who are the called according to his purpose and we are called we are all Christian we belong to one Paul we belong to God's kingdom that's why sabi po niya doon he knows everything na nangyayari po sa buhay po natin ngayon. Kung titingnan natin na binabanggit po. Kaya, be assured. Alam po natin, lahat po nangyayari ngayon, everything that's happening in right now, there is purpose. May mga purpose po, may kadahilanan po ang mga bagay na ito. Kung sino yun po ninyo? Pinababayali God. Lahat po tayo po may pinakain po hanggang ngayon. May pagkain po tayo tanong natin, paano kung umabot po ang lockdown sa June? How? How are we now if this lockdown will continue until month of June? Don't worry. Our government is doing a lot of things. And most of all, God is doing a lot of things for His for His servant. For those who love God. For those who are called according to His purpose na tinatawag. Kaya sabi nga niya, di ba, sa Matthew chapter 6, ibigay ko ulit sa inyo po, paalala natin sa Tagalog, sabi niya doon, verse 26, sabi niya, mas dami niyo ang mga ibon. Hindi sila nagtatanim, ni umaani man, o kaya nagtitipon sa kamaling. Ngunit pinapakain sila ng inyong ama na nasa langit. Hindi ba? Pero kung titignan natin, look up, for they neither sow nor reap, nor gather into burns, yet your Heavenly Father The question Are you not Of more value than they? Diba? We are created according to God's image You I All of this world Human being have been created by God According to God's image So we are most valuable than this bird But look God is feeding the bird How much more you? Kaya po Let us not worry. Let us continue to have faith. The love the Lord our God. Because God cares. He cares for each one of us. In Matthew chapter 10.29 Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin? And not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will? So in Tagalog po, sa 29, hindi ba't ipinagbibili sa halaga ng isang salaping tanso ang dalawang maya? Gayon din, kahit isa sa kanila ay hindi nahuhulog sa lupa kung hindi man kalooban ng inyong ama. In verse 30, But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Verse 31, Do not fear, therefore, you are more valued than many sparrows. Sabi niya, at kayo, maging ang buhok ninyo ay bilang niyang lahat. Kaya, huwag kayong matakot. Higit kayong mahalaga kaysa maraming maya. See, each one of us is more valuable than many birds. Tawag, than many sparrows. You are most valuable. That's why we need to continue to love God. We need to continue to have faith with God. Don't worry. In Matthew 6:27, sabi niya, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 27, which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? Sabi niya po, o sabi sa NIV po binanggit din naman. And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? In Tagalog. 
Sino sa inyo ang makakapagpahaba ng kanyang buhay ng kahit isang oras sa pamamagitan ng kanyang pagkabalisa? So, meron po ba? Kahaba ba ang buhay natin sa worry? Worry can affect our health. Worry can affect your human. Yung pagkatao po pang maapektuhan. So, wala kayo sa balisa. Sapagkat uh, worry natin, walang mangyayari po. Does your worry do something better? Do you remember our lesson that Sunday? Wait on the Lord with endurance. Remember Psalm chapter 27? Wait on the Lord na may pagtitiis po. Kasi worry cannot bring you anywhere. Cannot bring you anything. Cannot make you, will not give you a long life. So, ayan po ang sinasabi po ng Panginoon ngayon. Luke chapter 10 verse 38. Now it happened as they went and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore tell her to help me. Tinan niyo po, Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things but one thing is needed chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her ano pong ibig sabihin ng Panginoon yes God yes Jesus knows all about our service to Him He knows what we are doing pero po but sometimes we need to have time with Jesus. Let us have time with be Jesus. Let's just sit down, read the Bible, stop for a while, and listen to His teaching in the Bible. Sit down and pray. Don't worry. Nothing. In the meantime po, stop and have a quiet time with the Lord. Kaya po sabi nga niyo kay eh, Martha, di ba? You are worried and troubled. Wag po tayo po mangamba sa mga maraming bagay. Nandiyan po ang Panginoon. Kaya po sa may verse Matthew chapter 6 verse 28, sabi po niya doon Matthew 6:28. So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothed the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven will he not much more clothe you O you of little faith sabi po niya see he called those who are worrying a little faith so let us not have a little faith let us have a big faith kailangan po magnify the Lord in our life magnify your faith Palakihin natin ng todo po yan. Therefore, do not worry. Saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? All these things, sabi niya po, the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father know that you need all these things. God knows we need food. God knows we need this crisis and soon. He knows what's going on in our life. Alam po niya po mga bagay na ganun. So, paano po dumating nga po, mag-extend po ang ECQ? Extend po ang lockdown until June. Huwag po natin, paano na ako? Paano na ako? Wala na tayong mga kain, no? Remember, God is with you. God will provide your food. Mga kapatid, do not worry po. Ginatawag Remember, for your heavenly fathers know that you need all these things. God knows that we all need food. We all need to work now. We all want this quarantine will end soon. And we all want to have cure in this virus. He knows. Remember the song? My Jesus knows when I am lonely. He knows it's pain. He sees its tear. He understands its lonely heartaches. 
He understand because he cares. Ganda po ng bantang yan, mga kapatid. Tinatawag. May dalawang bagay po na binigay mo rin si Kristo. Jesus did two ways to overcome worry. Sabi nga po niya, Matthew 6.33 Sabi niya, But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. 34 Therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day it's its own ang gusto pong ipaalala na Jesus sa atin ngayon ano ang gusto niya ipaalala po din sa atin sa Matthew 6.33 and 34 ipaalala sa atin na Jesus na unahin po natin siya unahin natin ang ating Diyos unahin natin si Jesus remember all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to our Lord Jesus without Jesus we are nothing but we are so brothers and sisters Through Jesus Christ, we will be sufficient for the day. We will be blessed by the by God the Father. We will be supplied by all things we need in this life. Remember, Jesus, what everything you ask in my name, it shall be given to you, in accordance to the will of the Lord God the Father. So, yung po is in control. Huwag po tayong mawawala ng faith. Palakihin po natin ang faith po natin. Don't be a worry ward. Ano yung worry ward? Yung parang nervyoso. Nervous lagi. Worry causes physical and spiritual harm. Kaya po, kung titignan po natin, yung worry, it will not give you anything in your life. Mas, kakaroon lang po tayo ng problema. We're going to think a lot of things. Our heart, kaproblema po tayo. Kaya po yung worry po, wala pong magagawa po sa atin yun. Walang maidudulot na maganda ang pag-alala. Jesus' poor reason for not worrying can be summed up by saying, yung pong binigay sa atin, ano po, we can sum it up. Trust in God's providence to provide for you and to help your problem. Magtiwala lang po tayo sa Panginoon, mga kapatid. Trust God. Sabi niya doon. So, turn your worries or our worries over to God where? Through prayer. Just like I told you before. Just sit down. Have a quiet time with the Lord. Pray. Let God know what we need. We need God's mercy today. We need cure healing for those who are sick. We need God's power now. And then, continue to seek the kingdom first in your life and His 